All right, hello SpeedSF drivers. Uh, I am your host, Joe McGuigan. Welcome to your Thunder Hill Raceway Park East Loop logistics video. Uh, let's get the check-in stuff out of the way. So we're gonna have a drive-through check-in set up like we've had the past year or so here. Um, what you wanna do is make sure that you have your registration uh, ID, which will be that link that was texted to you that you know you did during your registration, the face ID, as well as the proof of passing your uh, driver's quiz of 100%, which is also included in this email, the test for that. You can take that test as many times as you need, but if you watch the safety video that's also included in this email, then you should pass without problem. Now, once you get those done, you're gonna go through the drive-through check-in, you're gonna get your wristband, you're gonna maybe get a sticker, uh, and then you'll be good to go from that point. Novices, we will be meeting uh, in the morning. As always, we're gonna meet for our uh, morning meeting to let you know how the day is gonna work with the instructors. We're gonna get you paired up with the instructors and just let you know kind of how that whole process is gonna go. So if you're in the novice group, which is typically the green group, just know that we're gonna be meeting before your first session to go over that stuff. Now, otherwise, we're gonna have a mandatory cool down meeting for every run group uh, for the first session in the morning. So usually our advanced group goes out first. Just know that you guys will have to meet. We'll do a cool down meeting just to do a quick check-in. That is your opportunity to voice any concerns, questions, stuff like that. Uh, so please make sure you come to that meeting. Sometimes we give out a sticker that'll let you back on track. So make sure you come to those meetings. Uh, listen for the announcements regarding that. Now, um, like I said, once you're done with check-in, you're good to go get parked, get you know yourself ready, get all the stuff out of your car, be ready to go in that sense. Now, as far as getting on track, the track entrance is always gonna be the one we've always used, which is the break in the front pit uh, you know, K wall there. There's two smaller awnings, and you'll see the you know the break in the K wall there that'll put you up the hot pit lane. As always, we're gonna have a fast lane, slow lane. We'll have the sign out there, you know, to remind you which lane is what. And as always, the fast lane goes out first, not one, one, one. It's fast lane, then slow lane. Now, with Thunder Hill, both, you know, on the east and west course, whenever you leave the pits, I don't care if you're the first car on the first session in the morning, you know no one else is on track, there is a white blend line that you must obey. Uh, for east, it is, you know, a left-hander into the first turn, and there is that white blend line leading out of the pits. You must stay right of that white blend line all the way through on your uh, outlap. Anytime you're leaving the pits, whether from a black flag, you're late to your session, whatever. Once you're on course, though, you're free to cross over that blend line, you know, to get yourself set up accordingly. But please, 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 whenever you're leaving the pits, obey that blend line. Trust me, they are watching, and you will get a black flag. Uh, you don't want to cut off somebody doing 100, you know, plus miles an hour down the straightaway because you apex turn one from the pits. So please, please, please be aware of that. I cannot stress that enough. Now, once you're on track, uh, the first, you know, morning session for each group, it's usually one to two laps, yellow flag. Use that time, make sure you're awake, make sure the car feels good, wave to your corner workers, look where they're at, because as I say in the safety video, they are your guidelines to, you know, what's going on there. They're your safety net to everything out there. You don't know what's two, three corners ahead, but if you see that flag because you knew where that station was, then you're more prepared. Um, as far as gain off the course, the only track exit is gonna be the final corner between 14 and 15. Uh, whenever we're doing anything different on track, whether it be pitting or you're going slow, hand out the window to fist to say, hey, I'm doing something different, pay attention to me, and then come in the pits. Uh, we're gonna have checkered flag in the two usual spots. You're gonna see it at start finish, and you're also gonna see it at turn 11. If you get turn 11, you don't get to see it again at start finish, because if you do, you're now holding up the next group of drivers, which isn't nice. So be courteous to each other. You all deserve equal track time. Um, and by ensuring you get back in the pit safely in the correct manner, then you'll be fine with that. Uh, my recommendation, especially if you get at turn 11, you know, because it's not a lot of cool down period, when you come in the hot pit lane, you know, back in the paddock, there's a big open space to the right. Do your cool down laps there. Just remember the, the, the pit, um, the paddock area's speed limit is five to 10 miles an hour. I cannot stress that enough. Save the speed for on the track. If I have to talk to you multiple times, your day will probably end because you're not respecting the other drivers, uh, family members, animals, whatever, everything else in the paddock. So be aware of that. Now, aside from that, everything's pretty straightforward. You know, just listen for announcements. Uh, as far as passengers are concerned, passengers are allowed. Uh, masks are strongly suggested. They're not required, but I strongly suggest masks. Um, make sure you support the track. We've got gas on site. We've got uh, food at the Thunder Hill Grill. Uh, visit Nancy in the Pro Shop, uh, assuming she'll be open, which on the weekend they almost always are. 
and I promise you're gonna have a good time. As a reminder, this is just a fun track day. This isn't a race day. Our goal at Speed SF is for you to always leave the condi same condition you came to the track in, both your car and yourself. Uh, your car can be replaced, you not so much, but again, it's an HPD day. You're not winning, no one's gonna pick you up for Formula One or anything like that. So please, please, please leave your egos at home. Have fun. The only thing higher above fun is safety. And as long as you're safe, I promise you'll have fun. Uh, so again, be courteous to everyone out there. I cannot stress that enough. And we look forward to seeing you then. Bye.